Hey guys, my name is Madeline, and uh, I want to tell y'all a little story about uh, my life and before and after Jesus. Right up until just before my 13th birthday, it was really perfect. Um, and then just before my 13th birthday, my father uh, fell ill and passed away with a terminal illness, and man, everything changed. Um, big hole, big loss for me. Uh, had to watch my mom struggle to try to fill both uh, sets of shoes, and she did a really great job with that. But from that point on, there was just always something missing, and I was continuously looking and searching to kind of fill that void all through my teenage years and my young adulthood. And, uh, you know, so I thought, yeah, I need to get married and you know, have kids, start my own family, and that would be it. That would be what solved this, this hole, this missing uh, thing in my life. So that's what I did. I met my husband. You know, we settled down. We started our family. Uh, it couldn't have been more perfect, actually. You know, we had uh, two beautiful kids, um, owned a home, two cars, family pet, you know, just everything you would think the American dream is made of. And uh, yet there was still just something missing. I was constantly unhappy, constantly discontent, constantly feeling like, you know, I wasn't good enough. Just something was just always missing. So it, 10 years into marriage, I decided it was my marriage that was making me unhappy. So I separated from my husband and broke the only foundation I had in my life into two pieces and drug my precious children through all of it. That actually took me further away from where I really wanted to be in more ways than I could ever see coming. And so the devil was just dancing in every area of my life. And I mean that in every way possible. Like there was just, so much just dysfunction in me personally. I, you know, was, um, you know, buying into the whole like material things would make me feel more complete and then recreational drug use, you know, just, you know, any and everything you can think of uh, trying to fill a void that was just not fillable by any of those things. I was so ashamed of what I had done to, you know, uh, to my marriage, to my family, to our home. And it set a downward spiral of depression and despair that was just consuming, all consuming. And I actually had thoughts on many nights of this world would just be better off without me. They'd be better off without me. You know, if I just took my life, that, that would just clean up my mess. I could just, just, wipe it all out if I just took myself out of the equation. There is no darker, deeper despair than thinking that your life is so broken and worthless that ending it makes sense. There's just nothing as dark and despairing as that. But through Jesus, the hope and the strength and the promise of who you are in Him and through Him is what will deliver you from that kind of dis despair and that kind of darkness. Jesus delivers. He is, he is the one thing that can keep that pit from swallowing you whole. He is the one thing that can restore you, rescue you, set your feet on solid ground and put so much truth in you that you learn how not to believe those lies anymore. Uh, on a random, Wednesday night in the midst of all this vicious dysfunction going on in my life, I was invited to church and I was thinking to myself, uh, no, uh, someone like me does not belong in a church. There's not a church out there for someone like me. I walked into the church that night, lost, broken, exhausted, beyond redemption, embarrassed, consumed with guilt and shame, mostly for not being a person I felt that my children and my mother and my husband could be proud of. So I sat through that service and before I knew it, I was walking down this aisle and I was at this altar and I was on my knees and I was just, here I am, God. Do what you can with this mess. I give it up, I give it all to you. I don't know what else I can do. And it was the most almost out of body experience, but I walked out of that place different. I knew I had done something good for once. I had done something real and good. I didn't really know what it was, but I knew it was good. 
So, you know, it took the, it took the Lord uh, uh, several years to start putting my life into His order. Not me and what I wanted, not me and what I thought I needed, but what He wanted and what He had for me. And He, he did the, just that, just piece by piece, He started putting my life back together. The first thing He did was, remarkably, He restored my marriage. I mean, from a point of brokenness that marriages don't typically come back from, He restored my marriage. He restored my home, our family, and He marked that with a third child so that we would not forget what he had done. I have this walking, talking, living, breathing reminder in my third child, my son, Kyler. And I will not and could not ever forget, even without Kyler, I would have never forgotten. But what a beautiful testimony and memorial he gave us in that child. From that point, Guys, I'd love to tell you that life's been awesome and great and rainbows and butterflies, but that's not true. Life is hard and things don't go the way you think they will and they certainly don't turn out the way you want them to sometimes. And, you know, it can be mean and, and people will let you down and, you know, life will leave scars. And if you're living, life is going to leave some scars. But who you are is who Jesus says you are. And what faith is, is letting Jesus used those scars for something beautiful. He taught me how to um, love myself, to love others, to believe in myself, to invest in myself, to believe and invest in others in spite of everything this world and the devil would want me to believe. All the things that used to try to tear me down, the Lord now uses for something beautiful. So the thing I want to tell y'all most is that good people are really great at making bad choices. You cannot get it right on your own and apart from Jesus. You just can't. Trust Him, believe in Him, follow Him. He's got everything we need to be who we always wanted to be and who He created us to be, and we don't have to do that on our own.